Hello learners, welcome to Softweb Technologies. My name is Om Vaman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how easy it is for hacker to hack your device if you are connected to an open Wi-Fi and what can you do to protect yourself. Before that, I want to tell you hacking is illegal and the following demonstration is only for educational purpose. The channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activity. So let's get started. I'm going to perform man in the middle attack in my home network. My laptop will be the hacker's machine and my mobile phone will be the victim's machine. So we are going to hack my mobile phone from my laptop. Okay, firstly, we need to understand what man in the middle attack is. Then we will see practically by doing it. It's a type of attack that can be used to steal sensitive information or control your online activity without your knowledge. A man-in-the-middle attack occurs when a hacker inserts themselves into the communication between two parties who are trying to exchange information. This can happen on public Wi-Fi networks, where hackers can easily intercept the traffic of other users on the same network. Once the hacker is in the middle of the communication, they can do a number of things. They can eavesdrop on the conversation, stealing sensitive information such as passwords, credit card numbers, or other personal data. They can also modify the communication, altering the content of emails or messages, redirecting web traffic to malicious websites, or even injecting malware into the victim's device. Let's see practically here I am going to use tool called Ethercap, which is already available on my Parrot OS. Let's open. It's asking me for password. Let's give the password. Now here we have to select interface, which is I am going to do with my Wi-Fi. So my interface name is Ethernet0. You can see the interface name from your ifconfig command. Here my laptop IP address is 192.168.44.130. Okay, so let's start. Click on this right sign tick. Now we are in listening mode. We need to search for the host first. So just click on this search button over here. Here we can see three hosts added to the host list. Okay, so let's see the host list. By clicking this host list icon here, in this host list we have to select to target host. Target 1 will be your mobile phone and the target 2 will be your router because here all the traffic is going from your mobile phone to router. And we are intercepting this packets. So we also should not know the IP address of mobile phone but here we don't need the actual IP address or MAC address of the mobile phone. We need the MAC or IP provided by the DHCP server from the router so we can identify the devices. Go to your phone's connected Wi-Fi setting and see the IP address which is assigned by router. In my case, my phone's IP address is 192.168.44.2 and the IP 192.168.44.1 is the IP address of my router. So let's select phone's IP as target 1 and the router which is by default point 1. So I will select it as target 2. Okay, so both the target are selected. Now go in this MITM menu which is man in the middle attack. Now we have to select the type of attack. In many normal attack, there are lots of type of attack. Here I am going to use ARP poisoning. So just select ARP poisoning and here click on sniff remote connection and click on OK. The attack is launched now. We can actually see what my mobile phone or victim device is doing with internet. And we can actually see if the user is passing any login credential then we can get that login credential. How I am going to show you? We are going to snap the packet in the network with the help of tool called Wireshark. Asking for the password, 
I will simply start the Wireshark from here and my Wireshark keeps sniffing all the packets in the network. Okay, so we are in middle of my mobile phone and router. So we can actually see what's my mobile phone and router is communicating. Okay, so what I will do, I will show this small demonstration with my Google Chrome. I will open one demo side which is not secure by HTTPS protocol. Here I am going to give the username as John and password as John at 1 to 3. Just click on login. The credentials are wrong. So I didn't get logged into it. But the credential has been captured by our packet tracer, which is Wireshark because we are in middle of my phone and router. Okay, so how you can see that? Just you have to go for HTTP site, then type this query to see only HTTP packets. HTTP.request method is equal to is equal to post and hit enter. Here you can see one packet has been captured from the HTTP side. So let's see what data this packet has captured. OK. So just go into HTML form URL encoded in that section. You can see the username and password. Here username is John and password as John at 1 to 3. In this way your credential can be stolen if you are using an public or open Wi-Fi. Here are some steps you can take to protect yourself from these type of attacks. Use a secure network, avoid using public Wi-Fi networks or unsecured Wi-Fi hotspots. Instead, use a trusted and secure network. Check for HTTPS when you are browsing a website. Check to see if the website's URL starts with HTTPS instead of HTTP. HTTPS is a more secure version of HTTP that encrypts the communication between your browser and the website. Use a VPN, a virtual private network. VPN encrypts all of your internet traffic and sends it through a secure tunnel. This makes it much harder for an attacker to intercept your communication. Keep your software up to date. Make sure your operating system, web browser, and other software are up to date. This will help protect you from known vulnerabilities that attackers can exploit. Use two-factor authentication. Enable two-factor authentication on all of your online accounts. This will add an extra layer of security to your accounts and protect them from unauthorized access. Be cautious of suspicious links. Be careful when clicking on links that you receive in emails or messages. Scammers may try to trick you into clicking on a link that leads to a malicious website or installs malware on your device. By taking these steps, you can reduce the risk of falling victim to man-in-the-middle attacks and protect your sensitive information from being stolen by attackers. Thank you for watching this video until the very end. I hope you found it informative, interesting, and maybe even entertaining. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also, we would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. So, please leave a comment below and let us know what you think.